In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a template for your blog posts. So if you're new to web design, I have a free WordPress course that you can go ahead and enroll. The link is in the description below. And also, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you use my affiliate link, I will give you access to the Divi Blueprint course absolutely free. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So if you create a basic post in Divi, this is what it looks like. So here I've just added some text and also a featured image. So let's take a look at what this post looks like. So I'm going to click here. So as you can see, this layout is very basic. You have a sidebar and you also have the contents of this post. But you can see here that we are very limited to what we can do. And this is because we are not using the Divi Builder. So what we're going to do now is to create a brand new layout, which we're going to apply to all our posts. So let's start off by coming over here to our dashboard. And then I'm going to come over here to post and click on add new. So I'm going to call this post template click on use the Divi Builder, and then I'm going to publish it. So take note of what is happening here on the, t on the top right. So we have page layout and we have right sidebar selected, and we also have post title and then it says show. So let me just show you what that looks like. So if I come over here and click on view post, we can see that even though our page builder has been um, added, we still have this layout here. In fact, let me just enable the visual builder so you can see what I mean. Right, so right now the visual builder is activated, but it's only being applied to this part of our page. So we don't want that. So we want uh, to have a full layout which we can uh, adjust and design to our liking, similar to what we do on our pages. So I want to go back here to edit post. So what you want to do is to come over here to the top right and make sure you set this to full width. And then over here on the post title, we're going to come over here and hide it. And the reason why we're hiding the post title is because we want to add our own post title. Okay, so now with that, I'm going to click update. Okay, so now we have the flexibility of designing our page, our, page, our post page the way we want. So I'm going to click on use, use visual builder. Great. So now we can start from scratch and you can see that we have our full width sections. Okay. So let's start off by adding a brand new section. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button, click on full width. But for this, we need titles which apply to all our posts every time we add our posts. So we need a post title. So I'm going to come over here and choose full width post title. So I'm going to select that. And this is where now we can go in and start designing it. So as you can see, it comes in with the, the title of the actual post, which is template, and it also has this metadata. Right, so let me come over here to elements. So this is where you can disable what you don't need here on the bottom. So let's say you want to uh, disable the, the meta. I can just do that and everything goes. We can also uh, enable show featured image if we want to show our featured image here, but we don't need to do that. So all we have now is just the title. I know it looks plain. I am going to update this so that you can see all the changes that we're doing. But before I do that, I'm just going to come over here to the top because we don't need this section yet. I'm just going to go and delete that. Okay, so let's go now into our background. So over here in the background, we can start by adding our, our background color. So I'm going to click here, this plus button to add our color. And you can see now that the color has been applied. But you may also want to add some gradients if you wanted to. So I'm going to come over here to gradients, click this plus button. And as you can see, now we have a gradient which you can come in here and make further adjustments by maybe adding the gradient direction and so on. But you know what? I'm going to keep this simple. So I'm going to delete the gradient and we are just going to add a solid color. Okay, so let me just choose a color to go with. So I'm going to go with, um, let's go with that. Okay, right. So now, um, now that we have our background color, I'm going to come over here to design spacing. So here we can add some spacing to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to uh, add some spacing here, uh, some padding to the bottom so that our title here is easier to read and it also has space below it. So I might even increase this to about, uh, let's say, 52 and a bit to the top as well. Okay, so now that we have all that in place, I'm going to save. So as you can see here, the word template is not uh, easy to read. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings 
and then I'm going to click on design. So I'm going to go to title text. And first of all, I'm just going to add a color to this. So now we can read it and I'm going to increase the size to about maybe 34. Over here, we can change the title font. So I'm going to come over here and choose Leto. Uh, we may also want to have this as all caps and also add some letter spacing like that. Okay, so that looks great. So all our titles now, our post titles will look like this. So I'm happy with uh, this area here. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now let's move on to the next area, which is the content. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add a new section. So this is going to be a regular section. And I'm going to have a single column. And in this column, we are going to add a video module. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to come over here and copy this URL for my video. Come back to my site. And I am going to add my video right here. So I'm going to click this gear icon. Click on insert from URL. And I'm going to paste my URL in there and click on insert into post. Great. So now our video is in place. The next thing we can also do here is to add an overlay because sometimes this information that comes with YouTube does not really make this look nice. So what we can do is we can come over here to overlay and we can add an image overlay. So I'm going to click this plus button here and we're going to choose an image from our library. So right now I'm just going to add a random image. But of course, if you are uh, uh, creating your post, you have to choose uh, the right images that go with the actual post. So I'm going to click upload an image. So now that looks way much better. You can further go in and adjust this as well if you wanted to. So I'm going to click here on design and show you where you can do that. So if you come over here to your play icon, you can change the color of the icon as well to, you know, to um, match your design. But I'm just going to leave this as it is. Okay, so that looks great. I'm going to save. Now let's add some more content. So I'm going to click this plus button here. And uh, this time we're going to add two thirds and one third. Okay, so in here, we're going to add some text. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to design and we're just going to make some minor adjustments. So I'm going to click here on text and increase my size. Okay, I think 18 will do. And then we're also going to add our line height, 1.8. And then we're going to save. Right, so what we also need to do is to add the title here. So I'm going to duplicate this and um, go into the settings and this time this is just going to be a title so i'm going to come over here to lorem 2 copy my title and then i'm going to come back over here and paste it okay so i'm going to highlight this now and give it a heading uh, heading style so making sure that this is highlighted i'm going to come over here to paragraph and set this to heading 2 and then we're also going to go in and make some adjustments to heading 2 so i'm going to click on design heading text click on the H2 tab. And then over here, we're going to either make it all caps if you want to increase some letter spacing. I think four is fine. And then we're also going to uh, adjust the spacing below uh, below this heading. So I'm going to come to spacing. So we're just going to uh, reduce the margins. Okay, so that looks better. In fact, let me set this to 10. Great. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go ahead now and save. Right. So as we can see here, this is starting to take shape. Okay, so over here to uh, this side, I'm going to add an opt-in. So I'm just going to search for um, my opt-in here. So this email opt-in is actually quite important because this is how you can also allow people to sign, in, sign on to your mailing list when they come to read your post. So let's go ahead and uh, make a few adjustments to this. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, reduce this text. So I'm going to come here to fields and I don't need to show the first name or the last name. So I just want to collect just the emails. Okay, so that looks great. So I'm going to save. Now let's add our social media follows. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and I'm going to search for social. And here it is. So now we can add our social media follow icons. So I'm just going to duplicate this a few times like that, and then go in and make the adjustment. So I'm going to click this gear icon, change from Twitter to say Google Plus, Go back, go into the gear icon, change this one here to Instagram, go back. And then finally, I'm going to go into the, the settings one more time. 
and I'm going to change this to, let's say Skype, okay? But of course, you can choose whatever networks that you need to add on to your post. Okay, so now that I have all this, I mean, you can further go in here and make adjustments, but we can just leave this as it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save. So I'm pretty much happy now with uh, what I've created here. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now let's save our layout to our library. So I'm going to come over here and click this button here. So let's call this video posts, video post layout. And then the category, I'll just call this blogs, blog. And then I'm going to save this to the library. Great. So now that we have all this saved, I'm just going to save this one more time. Now, this is how our template is going to look like. So let's go in now and add a brand new post. So let's say uh, I come over here to my dashboard and we want to create a new post altogether. So all we have to do now is to come over here to post, click on add new. So we're going to give this post a title. So I'm just going to get a title from Lorem 2 like that. I'm going to paste my title, click on use the div builder, and then making sure that over here to the right, you go to page layout and select full width. And then for the post title, we want to make sure that we hide it. Okay. And if you have categories here, you can just use your category and then you want to publish. Now it's time to go into the visual builder. So I'm going to click on use visual builder. So by default, it's going to load a blank layout. So what we need to do now to load our template is to come over here to expand settings, click this plus button, and then go to your saved layouts. And this is where you can now choose your video post layout. So I'm going to select that. Okay, so now our video post layout has been loaded. So as you can see, it has our title, which is great. And it also has our basic information. So what we can do now is to come in and add all our text. So all I have to do is to go into my module settings, come to Lorem 2. Then I'm going to copy all this text here. I'm going to paste it in place like that. I'm going to save this. And now we need to change the title. So I'm going to click this gear icon, come over here to Lorem 2. Let's choose our title. And then I'm going to paste it in here, save that. So that's how quickly you can go in and add all your content. And if you want to change the video, of course, you can come over here, click this gear icon, and then click this video URL, click the gear icon, and then you can just click on insert from URL and paste your URL right here. So every time you create a brand new post, all you have to do is to go to your library and load all the elements from there. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click on the bell notification. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.